Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the company will design a future car in China for the global market. Thank you, thank you very much. I really want to thank you know, the Tesla team and, and the, the government officials that have been really helpful in making this happen. Uh, you guys achieved like an incredible, like, incredible outcome that I think hardly anyone expected. And uh, you know, here we are with this kick-ass factory, and it uh, looks looks great. You know, and it's there's you know there's still obviously going to be challenges ahead. That's the way it goes. But uh, I'm very impressed with this kind of work and. You can get this done, you know, what else can we do? It's going to be a very exciting future. So. China is the largest EV market in the world, 60 to 70 percent, and you are correct, is that the average EV sells for about 15,000 US dollars, and so uh, well below. But I think the right uh, analogy here is, uh, uh, is what's happened with Apple. And, uh, uh, and their China business right now is 17% of total uh, uh, Apple revenue. And right now, China for Tesla in the, the most recent reported quarter, the September quarter, was 11%. And so uh, they are not going to hit the sweet spot of the China market. They're just too expensive. But I think that if you start to put the pieces together and say that they can have, call it 17% of Tesla's businesses in China, you start to build a model out where you can grow their business at 20% uh, year over year. I'm just almost at my punchline here. If you do that, 20% uh, growth for the next few years, they'll probably grow at 30% this year, uh, and put a 10% operating margin on that a few years out, which is debatable, but I think uh, achievable. Uh, and a 30 multiple on that, you get to $150 billion. So there's room. Tesla's maintain their call it 70% share in the U.S. That's going to decline over time, no doubt. But we're talking about 450,000 vehicles this year in a market that's 90 million globally. And so uh, when I think about that road to a higher multiple cap, market cap, there's some uh, asterisks there that Elon needs to continue to behave. Uh, and uh, But I think that the market, and most importantly, I think that their technology has this 10-year head start, very similar to what happened in AWS, and a lot of people ignored but uh, that is fundamental to whether it's battery life or some of the visualization around autonomy to uh, advancing this story. The big question is whether or not this is a comp to the luxury vehicle market in China or if it's more of a comp to the EV vehicles in China. So most people looking at Tesla are, are assuming that it's, it's really uh, to the EV vehicles and no, it is not comparable to the vast majority of the vehicles that are being sold as EVs in China today. So the luxury vehicles, yeah. You know, there's a lot of, of uh, tier one automotive companies that, that make most of their money actually selling into China. So, you know, Tesla's going to have to aim to compete against them rather than take a pre-existing slice out of the EV market. I think Tesla operates in a vacuum. I think that they're going to be strong competition, and I can't think of a stronger signal to Detroit of, you know, hey, we want uh, credible EVs as the, the market cap dislocation in Tesla right now. Hey, I'm a believer. Ten months he built that plant. Yeah. Ten months. Hey, listen, the moment you throw a rock at a window and it goes right through it and the deposits soar, I mean, come on. I mean, when you, it, David, 27% of the, the you know, photo is short. Right. People still don't believe. The electric car company founder said Tesla would open a design and engineering center in the world's second largest economy. He did not specify any timelines. Tesla also confirmed that it would start work on a production program for its Model Y crossover vehicle in its Shanghai Gigafactory, the only production factory outside of the U.S. production for its Model 3, a sedan that was announced before the Model Y back in 2016, only started in October in the Shanghai factory. Musk made the announcements as he delivered the first Model 3 cars out of the Shanghai factory to the public. 
We intend to continue making a significant investment and increasing the investment in China, making the Model 3 and the Model Y and future models also in China, Musk told an audience in Shanghai. Something that would be super cool. So we're going to do it, is to try to create a China design and engineering center to actually design an original car in China for worldwide consumption. I think this will be very exciting, he added. China is seen by analysts as a critical market for Tesla but it faces a number of challenges from cooling electric vehicle sales to increasing competition. Still, the company has produced positive news with a profitable third quarter of 2019 and fourth quarter vehicle delivery numbers that topped Wall Street estimates. Shares of the firm hit a record high of $454 last week. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.